So let's try to bring these regular expressions back around to, to Rails now and get off this long extended rabbit trail, but uh, fun as it may be. Say, well, why do we need regular expressions for Rails? And the answer is, well, there have been some values that w we have been lax about um, allowing in, in our database so far. So let's look at our user model as an example. In our user model, all we've said is that we need an email, but we haven't said anything about what an email looks like. So someone could provide us an email of you know, one, two, three, which we know is completely bogus. It would be really nice to have some way to have a belief that when someone provides us a, an email, that that email is actually valid. And the way we can do that is just to say uh, format, and then you can do width, and give it the the value that you want. And what you put in here is some regular expression. Uh, right now, basically, our regular expression is, looks like that. That's what we're validating right now. Uh, and so that is how we might do that for, for any of our data. So let's try to do this the right way and make some tests that, that fail and then provide a regular expression that's going to to pass those tests. So I'm going to go ahead and and save this and then I'm going to edit uh, spec features and this would be in our user pages or actually this is, sp this is a model because all we're caring about is the, the model here and right now what do we want to do oops Added the wrong one. Spec models user spec. Here we go. So we've got some things like empty name, blank name, empty password, blank password. So let's put it right under here. Accepts valid passwords and rejects invalid passwords. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to get a list of a few valid pass. Uh, these aren't passwords; they're emails. We're just go through and iterate through a few email addresses and make sure that they work and uh, some others and make sure they don't work and that is how we are going to write our test. So let's start with some invalid email addresses here and I'm just going to uh, paste in some codes with some invalid addresses here that uh, I've got from a Ruby on Rails tutorial um, just uh, to make it quicker. And so we've got user at example comma com. This one doesn't have an at sign. This one ends in a dot and this has two at signs. Um, you know, I'm going to allow this one to pass because that makes it a more complicated one. And that's not actually two at signs. This one uses an underscore <coughs> in its name. And this one uses a plus. Okay, so these are the invalid email addresses right here. And what we're going to do is say something like it should reject 
each address. And we're just going to do, go iterate through each one. And what we're going to do is set user.email equal to the email address and it should be invalid when we do that. So if we do that and run our test bundle exec our spec and we'll do it on just this one models user spec what, we'll, what we should see is that these should now not pass because of course we are accepting any email address and there we go we got it to, to fail and it failed after the first one and didn't keep going through the, the loop here so let's um, go ahead I, I will do a, a similar thing I'm just gonna copy and paste this right here except this is gonna be valid addresses and it should accept each address should be valid of course we need to change that list so let me go cut and paste I'll be right back <coughs> okay I've got a list of email addresses here that should be valid that I've, I've cut and paste in from that, that same location and if we rerun our tests these will pass uh, because we do accept everything um, but they're in there because if we ever do something stupid with our regular expression that is overly restrictive this will catch it for us and, and say hey these should count too and you need to to make sure that that they work let's develop the regular expression together in our next video